that I've had breast cancer for the last 22 years. But last year, I began to get a significant amount of fluid around my left lung in the pleural cavity. Having a large amount of fluid is a very serious problem for a cancer patient and it can be seen as nearing the end of life. So I went to see my GP, he phoned the respiratory registrar and uh, when I got home I had a phone call from Professor Rahman. The TAPS trial is a study looking to improve people's health. The idea behind it is to find the best way of stopping people getting fluid in the chest who've got cancer in the thoracic cavity. What we ideally want is a method that will stop the fluid coming back most effectively but is also affordable, is also cost effective and is the best for the patient, meaning the least painful, spending the least time in hospital. The communication with the patient that you get in a research study, especially in a trial where there's a choice of treatments of some sort, is really, really important and I think clinicians who get engaged in that will often challenge their own thinking as a result of that. To be able ethically to do that, the clinician has to have what's called equipoise, meaning they have to admit they don't know the right answer. The trial involves having the fluid drained and then either having the lung stuck to the chest wall using a small tube into the side of the chest where we then afterwards inject medication called talc into the chest cavity. Um, the alternative way of treating is to put cameras into the chest and blow in the talc in a dry powder form. I was given some sedation and some drugs to just make sure that I was comfortable. So I was awake enough to be able to ask questions and be involved. And every now and again, they would pick me up, grab me by the shoulders and turn me around so I could see what was happening. And it was just really nice because I'm a very nosy patient. This is a proactive decision by patients to participate. They have curiosity, they have drive to see medical science advanced often from their own personal perspective. And that adds uh, a further level and complexity to a very positive relationship between the medical team and our patients. Allowing me to have this procedure has allowed me to breathe better and it's given me a new lease of life. I feel like I've got more time left. Being involved in research provides excellent opportunities to not only find out what we don't know about the diseases, but also to understand the patient perspective on what's important to them and ensure that our treatments address directly what's important to the patient, but also to the healthcare system. What we learn from doing research can help us to manage demand better, help us to target resource better, help us deliver better outcomes. I do feel very confident that research is going to help us to cope with increasing and changing demand for healthcare as time goes on. Research is part and parcel of my life and research is always ongoing. It it's never comes to a finite end. People are working all the time, they're getting results and I think that's wonderful and I, I'm very keen on that so I'd be very happy to do anything I can to join in and make things happen and improve life for people. I think research is vital to improve the quality of life for our patients, the quality of care that we deliver, and for us to understand the diseases that we're treating. It's definitely, in my view, the best way of improving healthcare for the nation and for our local population, because if we don't understand the treatments that we give, and indeed if we don't understand the diseases that we're treating, then we can't treat them as best as we can. Curiosity is a really important uh, characteristic of all clinical researchers. I believe that they're driven by a desire to constantly question and test the accepted wisdom. So curiosity is crucial to framing the research questions that we address in our clinical research studies. It's not just confidence boosting, but the fact that you're actually making a contribution and doing something useful, even though you happen to be very ill, I think is a jolly good thing. You know, life is meant to be lived and you can live it no matter what your situation. And without patients going on clinical trials, no progress will ever be made and you never know what the benefits are. Research involvement is a vital way of furthering my own skills as a physician and in a more wider context, furthering my team and the hospital's skills to deliver high quality care. There are many advantages to the organisation for staff being involved in clinical research. Clinical research benefits patient care, 
But it's also great for the organisation because it improves the culture of the organisation where as many people as possible are involved in asking questions, thinking about how we can improve, thinking about how we advance our levels of knowledge. So if we are involved with treating patients, diagnosing disease, then we should be supportive of and involved in clinical research because that's the way that clinical teams over time will see clinical care improved and advanced. My top tip for any clinician to get a patient on a clinical trial will be to talk to them in some breadth about what is involved and get them on board. And, you know, just say to them, you'll be part of a team and whatever you contribute will be very valuable. And we need your help. I think it's very important work. I think it's probably the most important thing they, they can do is to involve patients. And to patients, I just say, have a go. Research is changing all the time and I think in the next 20 years we'll see an enormous change in how we approach patients with respiratory disease and especially pleural disease. I think the main areas of change will probably be that we try to personalise our treatments much more. As we understand these diseases better we'll start to pick individual treatments for individual patients that are likely to be least toxic and most effective for them. We want as many members of staff in this organisation as possible to understand the benefit of research, to understand the basics of how it's done and governed, to understand how they can support it, whatever their role. This is a highly research active organisation that is proud of its research heritage. I would strongly encourage you to find research colleagues in your clinical areas, get involved in clinical research. That's the way you'll improve care in the long term for your patients.